Hi guys, today we are going to be <coughs> continuing the What If se well, an anime creation series called My <coughs> Space Evolution System. <coughs> Continuing to where our main character, who we're going to call Nyx now, Sorry if that wasn't his name in the last episode. I completely forgot. I don't need to check again, and I don't need to restart. Anyways, I never mind. If I can remember his name in time, I'll switch it back to that. But for now, we're calling him Nix. Anyways, <coughs> Nix is destroying goblins left and right. And checks his system panel to see if he has anything else that's useful and sees another skill. He notices that skills are just popping up in his channel, well, his uh, system tab, and then he clicks on it. And suddenly, he has a dragon armor on. This skill was called Dragonborn Armor. Stage one. Having stage one and two skills were actually pretty rare. So he makes sure that he will not die now. Since if he can become an alpha or a beta, he can make thousands for his family. But right now, he fuses out with his <coughs> Orogami nature blade skill so that he can <coughs> channel some of the dragon's energy that's in the armor into the blade, creating a big green energy slash, destroying multiple skeletons. He then sees a semi-boss monster. Actually, no, a hidden boss monster. He is surprised. A skeleton drake? He wipes his eye, even though he has the armor on, and knows that it's real. However, he's kind of thankful, since if he kills this thing, he can have <clears throat> a 50-50 chance of getting a spirit pet. Spirit pets are basically pets that you can get after defeating hidden bosses and Dungeons or real world or <coughs> dungeon outbreaks. He then charges at the monster and notices that his flaming fountain skill is now on the sub skill page and another skill replaces it Crimson Inferno. He says out loud, which is the skill that replaced his flaming fountain skill. <clears throat> Suddenly, a crimson flame <clears throat> with a pure black aura shines brightly, destroying multiple of the skeletons and taking away 30% of the dragon's HP. He then does this, <clears throat> he then uses his skill to form it into a blade, creating the sub skill. Dragon Flame Sword, creating a big X mark on the dragon's chest, and then stabbing both of his swords into it using his Crimson Inferno skill, <clears throat> burning the dragon from its insides. And after that, the dragon disintegrates like all the monsters do when they are defeated, including bosses and hidden bosses. And he sees a pixelated egg. After picking it up, the system tells him that it is <coughs> a void dragon egg. Not really related to the skeleton dragon egg that he killed before. Meaning that there was probably another hidden boss monster. And the skeleton dragon stole the egg. Nick's not really caring about where the dragon's true mother or father was. 
and then immediately puts it in his storage, seeing that it's only 60% away from actually awakening. And it is a void dragon egg. <coughs> dragon eggs have a very rare chance of going down, <coughs> of spawning. They're <coughs> normally most dragon born dragons born from dragon spirit eggs can normally get up to a supreme class beta or well mostly alpha. After that, he continues his killing speed until he gets to level fifty, and he hears a ding, and the and his space evolution system says that. He has unlocked stage two of Dragonborn, oh, Dragonborn armor. Now it is called <coughs> Dragon Galaxy Shell. Stage two. They both have different names, but they're part of the same faction. And neither one is actually a subskill. Stage skills don't count as subskills. Especially if they're so powerful, which is why he immediately activates it. As soon as Sun Yu <coughs> Hang comes into the picture, he is a big Chinese dragon with a green celestial ring around him with other features like small legs and stuff. Immediately seeing Sun Yu Hang, he tries to talk, <coughs> however, Sun Yu Hang summons a blade made out of water, using his skill, hydro embodiment, and turning it into a blade. He can turn it into all forms of weapons. He then slashes at the dragon, who was actually Nyx. <coughs> Nyx, out of pure ex instance, uses one of his transformation skills. Green Dragon Roar. Suddenly, a green energy burst came out of his roar, which Nyx was meant to be a cry. Sun Wu Hang, really thinking that this is actually a monster, <coughs> then increases the power of his water embodiment skill. Blitzing at Nyx, Nyx not having any time to dodge, uses another one of his skills. Green Dragon Self Blow. Suddenly, a nuclear explosion covered the whole entire area. Sun Wu Hang barely managed to get into the <coughs> distance far enough. Sun Wu Hang is a level <coughs> 955. Nyx knows this, so he is very confused. Sun Wu Hang is the third person in Korea to reach le over level 800 and is, of course, number three in the leaderboard in Korea. So he is super surprised that a level 50 like him activating his transformation skill could do this much damage to a third ranker in the entire country and one of the strongest people in the world. However, Sun Wu Hang, not being able to hear him, then uses another one of his skills, Shadow Manipulation, creating multiple clones that blitz at Nyx. Nyx, not having any reaction time, unlocks his skill. The Space Evolution System can unlock skills <coughs> automatically if he's in a situation dire where he needs it, since the Space Evolution System will go too once he dies. So the space evolution system uses a skill called instant drive. Suddenly a red aura embodies Nick and he easily dodges then turning into his <coughs> dragonborn armor skill. Stage one landing on the ground and embodying his fists with nuclear energy. Blitzing at his opponent, Sun Wu Hang. He then creates a giant energy slash with 
these sharp hands make with nuclear energy, destroying the surroundings and multiple monsters. Sun Wu Hang not getting any levels, but Nyx is. Because of his space evolution system, his leveling is greatly improved, and he has already reached level 72 from this fight. However, instinct to drive runs out. So the bright light that embodied Nyx disappeared. Nyx, now knowing that he survived thanks to a skill that the system gave him, immediately flies away, creating wings made out of nuclear energy. Sun Wu Hang, thinking that a monster shouldn't have that much experience to know what to win rate unless they're a mythical raid, <clears throat> then decides that he really needs to kill this monster. After all, it's intelligent. 